everyone so in today's video i'm going to make beans stew or you can call it red red so um, i have here about eight cups of black eyed peas which i have been soaking in water from the previous day um, i started soaking this around 3 p.m and it's now around 11 30. this is to help speed up the process of cooking the black eyed peas because they can take a really long time to cook I have some fish, I have red bream and I have some tilapia that I have seasoned with salt and powdered pepper. We have scotch bonnet, we have garlic, ginger, we have some chopped tomatoes, we have fresh chopped uh, tomatoes, we have our canned tomatoes, we have powdered pepper, we have the zomi oil that we will be using, we have salt and we have some geisha which is ma uh, tinned mackerel fish in tomato sauce so i went ahead and washed the beans once again and i'm now ready to boil it i'm going to time myself so i can let you guys know how long it's been boiling for until i have my desired texture so now we are going to move on to making the stew so the oil is now hot and i'm going to add my onions Time. you can go ahead and fry your fish or grill your fish in the oven I've chosen for mine to be grilled in the oven the onions has been frying for two to three minutes and, and I'm now going to add my Maggi cubes and my fresh tomatoes So I'm going to cover it now uh, to speed up the cooking process and we are going to leave it for about 5 to 10 minutes and then we are going to come back. So in the meantime, my beans has been cooking for about, for about half an hour now. So the beans has been cooking for half an hour. So whilst the onion is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and blend together my canned tomato, my ginger and my scotch bonnet. Unfortunately, my blender decided to stop working, so I have to grind it by hand. So it's been 10 minutes since the onions and tomatoes has been uh, frying, and I'm now going to add in my blended mixture, or my grinded mixture, let's say. I'm going to leave it to cook for 15 minutes to make sure that the tomatoes is fully cooked. The stew has been cooking for a total of 15 minutes and the beans has been boiling for an hour now and I'm still not happy with the texture so I'm going to leave it for another 30 to 45 minutes. So uh, make sure that you are tasting your stew in between. Um, I used eight Maggi cubes before, but I still need to add a bit more salt. So I'm going to add some salt. Add the salt and seasoning according to your taste. And I'm also going to add some um, powdered pepper because it's not spicy enough for me. minutes since I added some more salt and powdered pepper so I'm gonna go ahead and add my tinned mackerel and tomato juice and 
this just adds another nice flavor to your stew. We are almost done with the stew. I'm just waiting for the beans now. It's been cooking for a total of one hour and 11 minutes and I'm pretty sure it should be ready soon. So I left the stew to cook for another half an hour to make sure that everything is fully cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and add my fish that I roasted in the oven and then we can go ahead and add our beans which has been uh, cooking for nearly two hours if you want to speed up the cooking process of your beans you can go ahead and add some bicarbonate soda or baking powder but don't add too much of it simmer for about five minutes and then we can go ahead and add the beans I left the beans to cook for two hours and it's finally ready to be added to the stew so this is how your beans should look like after it's been cooking for two hours um, you can to make sure that it's soft enough you can take one and uh, squeeze it so I'm gonna start adding the beans to the stew and then we are going to stir everything together is all done guys I went ahead and removed all the excess oil that was at the top you can choose to leave it if you want to but I went ahead and got rid of all the excess oil uh, you can have this with plantain uh, you can have it with yam you can have it with potatoes and you name it I'm frying my plantain right now and I'll be showing you guys how I present it in the end. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and as usual I will be listing the step-by-step -step instructions on my website and I will also list the ingredients and where you can buy them from. Uh, I'm also open to any suggestions on what you would like to see on my video next so please let me know in the comments bar below.